Many Americans say they don't get enough sleep, especially teenagers. Ben Tracy shows us how Stanford University is trying to get high school students to open their eyes to the dangers of sleep deprivation. The ones on your head are going to show me your brain waves so we can determine what stage of sleep you're in. 17 year old Nora Siegler is being wired up in order to better understand why teenagers need to unplug. The biggest workout your heart gets every night is dreaming. At Stanford University's Center for Sleep Sciences, these high school students are getting a crash course in why sleep is the most important part of their day. Have you found yourself nodding off during class or feeling like you might fall asleep? Pretty much every day. <laughs> I'm pretty much exhausted by 2.30 every single day. Do you notice people are talking about being tired? Yeah, people talk about how exhausted they are, how late they went to bed. Doctors say teenagers need 8 to 10 hours of sleep each night. But according to the National Sleep Foundation, 87% of high school students don't get that much. That impairs their judgment and concentration and can cause anxiety, depression, and even thoughts of suicide. The American Academy of Pediatrics calls the problem of tired teens an epidemic. If we had told you that teenagers did not get enough food, we'd have telethons, it'd be national news, it'd be in the, uh, covered in the presidential campaign. Dr. Rafael Paleo is a clinical professor at Stanford and a sleep researcher. How many of you wake up tired? We often hear people say, hey, I'm fine on five hours of sleep. Are those people biologically superior or are they in denial? Just because you can get by does not mean you're at your best. You could put low octane gas into your sports car, the car still functions, but it's not performing at its full potential. Research has found that when kids become teenagers, their circadian rhythm or internal biological clock shifts to a later time, making them biologically inclined to fall asleep about two hours later than they used to. Can we make sure all cell phones are off? But waking up early to get to school on time cuts off their deepest and most productive hours of sleep. How many of you have skipped sleep to do homework? Nora learned those lost hours are crucial to her success. I think the biggest takeaway from the lecture was how vital sleep is for um, memory re retention and consolidation of memory which is really important as a student because we're constantly trying to cram information and we think that staying up later and later is the way to do it. You could basically study less and sleep more. That sounds like a good deal. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, easier said than done. There's an actual biological clock. At her high school in Menlo Park, students from Stanford are training teens like Nora to become sleep ambassadors, hoping they will give their fellow students a wake-up call on the importance of falling asleep. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Menlo Park, California. Well, first of all, I love that Ben Tracy found a teacher Another named Nora. Nora. Yes. <laughs> and I'm thinking. Who can talk reasonably well. <laughs> yes, yeah, she very talks very well, but that Nora should not go in TV news <laughs> or anything that has an overnight shift. <laughs> maybe she needs some. <laughs> maybe I'm she just needs some. I like Nora. I like her too. I like her too, Nora. I like you.